and welcome to week one of our Owl Crochet Along with Ogo Yarn. I am your host, Sarah, at Repeat Crafter Me. Let's dive right in. So we are going to be separating our Ogo Yarn colors, and then we will be working on the body and the head portion of our cute little owl stuffy. So to separate your yarn, all you need is one Ogo for this. We are going to go ahead and open up. Take it out of the package, and then you will see um, right at the bottom, there's a little plastic tie, and we're just gonna cut that. So take your scissors, cut it, pull out that plastic tie, okay? And now we're gonna separate our three colors, and to do this, it's very simple you are going to um, just gently pull where you see those colors meet. Okay, just comes right apart and you can even, here's, you can see where the yarn is um, transitioned there. I'm just gonna cut out that little piece. Okay, so we have one color. And now let's separate the last two pieces. So again, just kind of work your fingers in there. Pull. Okay. Comes right apart and then find where the color meets. And we can just clip it. Okay. And now we have our three colors ready to work um, and crochet. So very simple. You're going to pull from the outside, okay, so find the, the yarn strand that pulls from the outside, all right, and that's what we're going to be starting with. And for our owl, we are going to be, um, the body is going to be with this um, lighter cream color, and then we're going to do the head in this darker brown, and then we're using the yellow for the beak and the feet. Very simple, so I'm just going to put this to the side. Okay, and let's get started on the body. So grab your size crochet K hook, and um, again, grab the end, pulling from the outside of your cream colored Ogo yarn. And we are gonna do a magic ring, and we're gonna make 10 single crochets. Okay, so just looping the yarn over as so. Inserting my hook, pulling the yarn up. I'm going to chain one. And then I'm going to make 10 single crochets all in this ring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, we're gonna pull that tight. And we're gonna join to that first single crochet. So, so we're gonna join. If I can get my hook under there. We're gonna chain one. And for round two, we're gonna make two single crochets in each stitch around. Okay. So working in that first stitch, two single crochets, two single crochets in the next, and keep going all the way around for a total of 20 single crochets. Two, we're going to go ahead and join to that first single crochet, chain one, and unravel some of my Ogo because I have it sitting on the table. Um, okay, let's do round three. And so we're going to make two single crochets in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next, and we're going to repeat that sequence all the way around. So two single crochets in the first, 
one single crochet in the next. Two single crochets, one single crochet. All the way around for a total of 30 single crochets. Okay, here's the end of round three. Join chain one. So round four, very simple. We're just gonna single crochet in each stitch around. Very simple. So just one single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, join chain one. Now let's go on to round five where we're gonna make two single crochets in uh, the first stitch and then we're gonna make one single crochet in the next two. So two single crochets all in one stitch and then a single crochet in the next two. Two single crochets in the first, or yep, to start, then two single crochets in the next two all the way around you should have a total of 40 stitches after this round Okay, now let's join chain one. All right, so now um, we're gonna be smooth sailing um, up until round 12. All we're doing is single crocheting in each stitch around. Okay, so rounds uh, six through 12, all you're gonna do is single crochet in each stitch around, join at the end of each round, chain one, and just keep going till we get to, till you finish round 12. So I will meet you at the end of round 12 and we will continue from there. All right, so here we are at the end of round 12. Your owl should look like this. This is gonna be the body. And let's go ahead and get started on round 13. We are going to make a single crochet decrease over the first two, and then we're gonna single crochet in the next two. All right, so to make a single crochet decrease, very simple, insert your hook, pull your yarn through, insert into the next stitch, pull your yarn through, and then yarn over and in, uh, close that up by in, uh, pulling it through all those loops. Okay, so then we'll make one single crochet in the next two. Let's make that single crochet decrease again over these next two stitches. 
pull your yarn through the first one, pull your yarn through the second one, yarn over and pull through those three loops. Okay, single crochet in those next two. All right, we're just gonna repeat that all the way around. Single crochet decrease and single crochet in the next two. And with those two single crochets, we are going to join chain one. We're gonna go ahead and work on round 14. So we're for this round, all you do is single crochet in each stitch around. Join round 15. We're going to make that single crochet decrease over the first two and then one single crochet in the next. So single crochet decrease over the first two, one single crochet in the next. Single crochet decrease, one single crochet. All right, all the way around. Okay, the end of that round, join, chain one. And now is a good time. Um, you might wanna weave in your starting end at the bottom and then go ahead and start uh, stuffing the base a little bit with some polyfill fiber stuffing. Okay, it comes in a big pack, looks like this. Um, you can do this at the end too, I think might have some room but it's easiest if you kind of get started stuff a little bit in there now we can always stuff more in in a little bit okay now for the 16th round we're just going to go ahead and single crochet in each stitch around with this um, with our still working with our first color cream colored yarn but after this round we're going to go ahead and fasten off and we're going to add in our dark um, brown color for the head and this has worked all in one piece so there's really no stitching um, together of the head and the body when we're done it's gonna be all in one piece very easy okay all right so I'm gonna join, but as I do, I should have this ready, I'm going to take the end of this darker brown color I'm using for the head, all right. 
then you're just going to slip stitch it into join just a regular join and chain one okay at this point I'm just going to clip off that lighter color again this is this would be a good time to maybe weave that in and now we're going to be working on round 17 and you should have your new color attached we're going to make two single crochets in each stitch around for a total of 40 stitches so two single crochets in the first stitch two in the next two in the next Okay, continuing all the way around for the start of the head. Look like that so far. stitches okay now join let's take a look at this all right now is probably a good time to weave this in if you haven't already done that previously I'm just gonna weave it in real quick you can obviously do a little bit of a better job um, making sure it's secure This one too so that you won't get in your way you're gonna need a fairly large tapestry needle um, while I'm working with this um, blanket yarn it's a little thicker okay, I'm just gonna clip that off so we can continue all right um, round 18 uh, to the 23rd round all you got to do is single crochet in each stitch around. All right, so again, very simple stitches here. Uh, you should have a total of 40 stitches. So you're gonna go ahead, this is round 18. We're gonna single crochet in each stitch around. And then I'm going to meet you at the end of round 23. And we will finish the head at that point. All right, here we are at the end of round 23. I'm just going to join chain one and then round 24, we're going to make a single crochet decrease and one single crochet in the next uh, two stitches. All right, so your owl body and head should look like this so far. Looking good. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Single crochet decrease. Single crochet in the next two. Oh, I'm standing on my yarn. <laughs> All right, single crochet decrease, single crochet in the next two. Okay, continue this, repeating all the way around. And we're actually almost done.
single crochet in those last two. Let's join. Ah. Join chain one. And now for the last round um, of the body and then the head, we are going to do round 25. And this is just one single crochet in each stitch around. We are at the end of round 25. We're going to join. Okay. We are going to fasten this off, but when you do, please leave a long strand of yarn because this is what you're going to use to seam this shut. Not right now. We're not going to seam it shut, but at the end of week two, we have to add our face first. We are going to be using our tapestry needle and closing up the top. So leave yourself enough yarn that you're going to be able to do that. <laughs> Close the top and then weave in your end. So if you can see, I kind of left this. this probably is a little too long, um, but better safe than sorry. So here is what you should have at the end of week one. You can go ahead and stuff a little more at the bottom. If you'd like, you don't want to stuff it so full that it's sticking out the stitches, although these are pretty, um, pretty solid, pretty, um, pretty well crocheted. There isn't many holes. Um, so you can stuff a little more down there. I would avoid stuffing the head because again, we are going to want to, um, add the eyes and the beak. Uh, so wait to stuff the head until you have those elements stitched on. And I look forward to you joining me for week two. Okay, welcome to week two of the Ogo Owl Crochet Along. I'm your host, Sarah at Repeat Crafter Me. So in week one, we made the body and the head. It should still be open. Do not sew it shut yet. Uh, this week, we're going to be creating the eyes, the beak, the wings, and the feet. And then in the third week, we will um, stitch them all on and finish up this cute owl. So you should have um, about this much left of the darker brown yarn. That'll be enough for the two wings. And then this much, about this much uh, for the eyes, which is plenty. And then you should still, we haven't worked with our yellow color yet. And uh, you will have, again, more than enough for the beak and the feet. So let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and make one on camera and you are gonna wanna make two of each of the eyes and the wings and the feet. So let's get started with the eyes. Okay, so grab move that to the side. Grab your cream color yarn, and we are going to make our magic ring, and we are going to make 10 single crochets in the ring. So chain one, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten pull tight you're gonna join to that first single crochet and chain one now for the second round we're gonna make two single crochets in each stitch around and that's basically gonna bring us to the end of it so two single crochets in each stitch two single crochets you should have a total of 20 stitches okay 
Okay, join. Now you're gonna wanna clip off your yarn. You wanna leave a little bit of a long tail because you're gonna use that to stitch onto the head portion later. Clip off about right there. Okay, should have your long tail. And then we will talk about uh, a safety eye um, and some other options in week three. Now let's grab the um, kind of yellow yarn and we're gonna make the beak, okay? So you're just gonna make a slip knot, chain four, one, two, three, four, one single crochet in that second chain from hook. Okay, so there's your second chain from hook. And then a single crochet in the last two. Chain one, we're gonna turn. And we are gonna do We're gonna do a single crochet decrease, but over three stitches. So that's basically a, um, how you do a normal one, but you're gonna go under that last stitch. So you're gonna have four loops on hook, pull through, chain one, make that one last single crochet, and you are done. Leak's gonna go this way, okay? So we're gonna fasten this off. Again, leave a bit of a tail here because we're going to have to stitch it onto the face over the eyes. All right. Kind of looks like a little mini pizza there, huh? All right. So set this off to the side. Let's get started on the um, wings. All right. So you're grabbing your darker brown yarn. Again, you're going to want to make two of these. I'm only going to do one on camera. You only need one beak. Um, all right, so let's, uh, make our magic ring, chain one, and four single crochets in this magic ring. One, two, three, and four. Okay, it's going to be tight. It's going to be small. You can do it just, uh, Fit your hook right there under that first single crochet. Join, chain one, round two. Uh, we're gonna make two single crochets in that first stitch. One single crochet in the next. Two single crochets in the next. And one single crochet in the last. And I know it looks funky. I know it feels like you're far away from that, from that joining stitch. But just reach your hook over, join, okay? Start of the bottom of the wing, chain one. Let's go on to round three. Okay, so we're gonna do two single crochets. Where am I here? Two single crochets in the first single crochet in the next two, two single crochets, and then single crochet in the next two. That brings us to the end there. Reach your hook in, join, chain one. Okay, next stitch, one single crochet. Nope, nope, two single crochets, sorry, in the first and one single crochet in the next three. So basically we're just increasing. One, two, three. So two single crochets. One, two, and three. All right, join. It should get easier now to find where you need to join. Chain one. Okay. Um, okay, two single crochets in the first, one single crochet in the next four. Two 
two single crochets and then a single crochet in the next four. I should say the last four. Okay. Join. All right. We're going on to round six. We are doing two single crochets in the first and one single crochet in the next five. So it's pretty easy repetition here of increases. Three, four, and five. Two single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, join, chain one. Here we go, increase again. So we're gonna do two single crochets in the first, one single crochet in the next six. Three, four, five, and six. Two single crochets. And then one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, let's join. All right, another increase, two single crochets in the first, single crochet in the next seven. Two single crochets, single crochet in the next seven. Six and seven. Join, chain one. Okay, it should look like this. Starting to look like a wing. Now we only have um, two more rounds. For your ninth round, we're just gonna single crochet and each stitch around. And then for the last round, let's see, let's join, chain one, the 10th round, um, we're gonna single crochet decrease and single crochet in the next four. So single crochet decrease, single crochet in the next four. Three, four. Single crochet decrease. One, two, Four. Single crochet decrease. One, two, three, four. Join. Your wing is finished. I would probably weave in that end, and there is no need to stuff this with polyfill. You're going to want to fasten off, leaving a fairly long tail because we will be stitching this onto our owl in week three. All right, let's grab the yellowish yarn and get started on the owl feet. They will look like that. Okay, I'm gonna make one on camera, but you are gonna make two of these. So we're gonna go ahead and make our magic ring. Chain one, six single crochets in the ring. Two, three, four, five, and six. Hold tight, join to that first single crochet. Round two, we're gonna make two single crochets in each stitch around for a total of 12 single crochets. So that was two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, nine, 10, 11 and 12, join, chain one, round three, we're gonna make a single crochet in that first stitch, two single crochets in the next. Just repeat that around. So one single crochet and then two in the next. One, 
two in the next, one single crochet, two in the next, one, two, one, two in the last. Okay, join. All right, so now for the fourth round, uh, we're just going to single crochet in each stitch. Really easy. And then we're gonna shape it. I'll show you in a second. So just finish single crocheting in each stitch around. Okay, there's our last one. Now you're going to want to join. Let's leave a fairly long tail as we've been doing. Okay, pull this through. All right, it should look like this. You can weave your end. You're really gonna wanna weave that middle end in. Real quick. Okay, and then, all right. Now, you're gonna um, just fold it, right? Your end should be on, on an end, all right? Because we are going to use our tapestry needle to shape this foot, okay? So I'm gonna start stitching this closed just by working under the single crochet stitches, okay? All right, so we're just working. Then when I get to about this third stitch here, we're gonna close it. Then I'm gonna loop, I'm gonna loop this around, okay? I'm gonna come back in. Pull it tight. So it kind of makes a little indent right there. You see that? So it starts to look like a little webbed foot talon. Okay, we're gonna do the same on this side too. So you're just gonna keep going, stitching the top of this together. Until I get to the other side. So about here, so I have about three stitches left to close. All right, I'm weaving in. Wrap that around. Come back at the top. Okay, I'm kind of holding it here until I pull tight. And when I pull, see how it kind of makes that foot, those three little bumps. All right, so pull that tight and then continue to close up the rest of the stitches. And you are not gonna to wanna to fasten off as we get to the end here, because we are gonna need this long tail to stitch it onto the bottom of our owl. Okay, so you should have your foot, you should have two of these, two wings, two eyes, and one beak ready to go for week three. Welcome to week three of the Ogo Owl Crochet Along. I am Sarah at Repeat Crafter Me, hosting for your inspirations. And so you should have the body and head done, still open, two eyes crocheted, a beak, two wings, 
and two feet. Um, I have some black safety eyes, uh, but I'm going to show you a second option here with a little bit of worsted weight yarn if these safety eyes make you nervous. So let's go ahead and stitch this owl together. Um, also grab your tapestry needle, maybe a pair of scissors, and the rest of your uh, polyfill fiber stuffing. So let's start with the eyes. Now, um, I'm just going to go ahead and use these safety eyes. You can get these at um, most craft stores or online. Um, so it comes in uh, two parts here. So this is the front part. This is the eye, the eyeball, and it has the back on it. And then it has this little plastic portion uh, that uh, you're going to just, once it's in here, push down and it clamps it shut. So I like to use these. Um, they're a pretty easy way to make a cute little eye and you could place it kind of to the side. You could just put it in the middle. Okay, and then clamp it. Now, if you don't like using these, um, just make a little crocheted eye out of worsted weight yarn. Uh, this is just a magic ring with six single crochets. And you could just stitch this right on. Again, it could go in the middle. Um, it could go kind of off to the side a little bit. You can do two of them. So this is a great second option. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just put these in and leave it at this. Okay, so I just, you should hear it clamp down. That's how you know it's secure. Okay, I'm gonna do one for this side as well. Okay. All right, now you are ready to stitch your eyes onto the head. Now make sure that your loose end is on one of the ends, all right? because that's how we're gonna stitch this closed. All right, so that means that if it's gonna be stitched closed like this, I'm gonna be stitching my eyes on just like this. Okay. So I was gonna have these cute eyes going on. All right, so let's take your tapestry needle. You're just gonna kind of place it where you think it should go. Okay. And all you do, okay, let's see, it's about right there because my other ones need to go there. Um, you're just going to work right under these, the ends of your stitches and right through, okay? And you're just going to follow along back and forth along the edge, working under the tops of those stitches and through the middle. This is why we didn't really stuff it yet, so we have room to put your hands down there and um, really stitch this on. Okay. Going. kind of close to the edge, but that's okay. Just go for it like that. Okay. Now that eye is pretty secure. And you're going to want to, this is what it should look like on the inside. Again, this is going to be um, stitched closed. So go ahead and just weave in your ends on the inside there. I'm going back and forth. Okay. And we're going to need this because we need to stitch on our second eye right about there. I try and overlap them just a little bit. Okay, so same technique, working under the tops of those stitches all the way around.
It's okay to overlap the eyes a little bit. So I'm gonna come in kind of under. There we go. Or at least so they're touching. You can also use the um, rounds of the head to kind of measure where they need to go. So I see I have um, this eye is kind of at the bottom meeting between this row. So I should probably have this eye come down so it's level. Try not to get your loose ends tangled there. That's what almost happened. If you'd like, I'm just trying to show you guys real quick for this video. All right, now we're gonna take our beak. You should have your eyes looking about like that. And so the beak should overlap um, kind of under the eyeballs. If that's where you placed them, again, you can place your, your little eyes in the center there. Um, and then we're gonna stitch the beak on right underneath. It can go actually either way. Um, doesn't matter. Okay, so let's just stitch this on same way we stitched on those eyes. So you're going to work under the edges of these stitches. Try to be pretty careful here. Okay. will be overlapping the eye so you're going to want to bring your tapestry needle through that eye into the corner there thing you're going to want to weave this in pretty well maybe even better than that again I'm just trying to show you guys in kind of an example here all right so we have our face on now we can take the rest of our stuffing okay and you're going to want to stuff the rest of this owl so now if you feel like you need to put a little bit more at the bottom you can do that, all right, and then stuff the head. Ooh, that's pretty good, to be honest. Okay, oops, I didn't get my loose end looped through. All right. Now, Let's stitch the top of the head together. And this is gonna kind of make those, the way this stitches together, so you're gonna pinch it closed. Remember your loose end should be on one side. 
And see how already you can see it kind of comes up into that little ear form, ear formation. All right, so you're just gonna kind of pinch this together, fuzzies everywhere. All right, and then just work under the tops of these stitches and stitch it closed. Fun little tip here is if you go in a couple times around those top corners, it does kind of make that ear stick up a little more, the little owl ear, subtle, but it's there. I'll do one more time over here in this corner. Okay, now just keep working under the tops of these stitches. Pinch it. Okay, we're looking good. Okay, almost at the end just like we did on this side if you want to loop it around a couple more times right here on these end stitches uh, makes more of that little ear maybe one more time there you go how cute is that all right so now just weave um, the strand in again make sure it's secure off. All right. Let's start on the wings. All right. So I did not stuff these. Okay. And again, just kind of like that head, you want to make sure that you've pinched it closed where your strand is on the edge because that's how we are going to stitch it on. Now, another little trick is I can, I mean, it's barely visible, but I can see a little bit of a seam right here from where we joined. So I would stitch it on this way so you don't have a seam where your wing is. And then right here where the two colors meet is where you're going to try and work your um, needle underneath it. So we're going to go through the tops of both of these stitches because this needs to be stitched closed. And then underneath, and I know it gets a little tricky, just underneath where that head and body meet. Yeah. Okay. Let's do one more time there. You might have to just kind of press down because it's so big and fluffy. I'm kind of lining it up right where that ear is. Okay, so go under. Hope you guys can see this. And I'm just finding a stitch right there where the head and body meet. back over a little bit just to make sure it's secure. All right. And then you can weave your stitches. Yeah. Weave this in. Um, uh, you can either go down through uh, the wing or kind of come through the head just to weave in, go back and forth a little bit. Okay, then we're gonna clip that off. You're going to do the same for the other side and then we'll start on the feet. 
All right, now that we have both wings on, so cute. All right, secured. Now let's do the feet. And these are actually a really important part of the project because if you want your owl to sit up, this is kind of what's gonna support that. All right, so here's the thing. You want them sticking out the front. So I would go one, two, about three between uh, rounds three and four there. And they're gonna wanna be angled about like this, okay? And then one on this side. Okay, so I'm just gonna, well, I better, I better loop this through my tapestry needle before I hold it in place. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold it here. All right, see how that's a little bit diagonal like that? Hold it as best you can with one hand. Take your other hand and your tapestry needle, and I know this is already closed, um, but just, darn it. There we go. Okay. Hopefully that doesn't happen to you. <laughs> so just work under those stitches, holding it and work under the stitches of the owl body. There we go. go okay so this is really what is gonna balance this out and let this guy stand up all right so we got that now weave this in back through the foot okay let's do this other one This is why you got to leave those long tails. This could have been a little bit, could have left it a little longer. So now just um, kind of line it up to where the other one is. Should be diagonal. One, two, three, between kind of rounds three and four there. Just going to go through here. And these stitches. Okay. Hold it together. All right. Almost stitched on. Okay. I think that's pretty good. All right. I'm going to fasten this off. As you can see, it has a nice base now to stand up. Look at that. Okay, we got our feet on, we got our wings, we got the head. But there you go, here's your cute Ogo Owl. Hope you enjoy, make it in multiple colors and be sure to head over to yarnspirations.com to download the free pattern.